This just in, actor Chadwick Boseman has died. He was just 43 years old. Everybody is the hero in their own story. He of course starred in Black Panther. The impact of that is something that nobody can actually write about. Yet. I hope people are proud when they finish watching the movie. Well, good night, boy. He broke stereotypes and became a role model for black youth. Bozeman had been fighting colon cancer for four years, but never spoke about his diagnosis. Bozeman has probably begun a weight loss regimen for a future role. Superpower you wish you had in real life. I wish I could freeze time. You gotta get sick of hearing Wakanda. No, I want Wakanda. I want us to be Wakanda. Wakanda represents a thing that the people are proud of, people aspire to. We know what it's like to be beneath and not above. And that is what we went to work with every day. If we're around here assuming that the black characters in the show are criminals on drugs and deadbeat parents, then that would be stereotypical, wouldn't it? He slid my resume back in his desk and said, we'll be watching you. Once I got the first script, once I saw the role I was playing, I found myself conflicted. The role wasn't necessarily stereotypical. A young man in his formative years with a violent streak pulled into the allure of gang involvement. That's somebody's real story. But I was conflicted because this role seemed to be wrapped up in assumptions about us as black folk. I was conflicted. It was just my luck that after filming the first two episodes, execs of the show called me into their office and offices and told me how happy they were with my performance. They wanted me to be around for a long time. They said, if there was anything that I needed, just let them know. That was my opening. I decided to ask them some simple questions about the background of, of my character, questions that I felt were pertinent to the plot. Question number one, where's my father? The exec answered, well, he left when you were younger. Of course. Question number two, if this script, in this script it alluded to my mother not being equipped to operate as a good parent. So why, why exactly would, would my little brother and I have to go into foster care? Matter of factly, he answered, well, of course, she's on heroin. That could be real, I guess. But I didn't want to assume that's what it was. If, if we're around here assuming that the black characters in the show are criminals on drugs and deadbeat parents, then that would probably be stereotypical, wouldn't it? That word stereotypical lingered. One of the execs pulled out my resume and began studying it. The other exec wore a smile, trying to live up to what they had promised me only a few moments before. If there's anything you need, just let us know. He slid my resume back in his desk and said, thank you for your concerns. We'll be watching you. I was let go from that job on the next day. A, call, a phone call from my agent. They decided to go another way. But when you have those moments alone, you start to wonder if there was a better way to handle it. And if you could have, if you could have handled it better, maybe you could help your family. And, and then before you know it, you're broke and you find yourself scraping together change just so you can ride the subway so that you can get the next job. And maybe if you could book something else, that would eclipse the feeling of doubt that's building, but it seems like you can't pay them to hire you now. My agents at the time told me it might be a while before I got a job acting on screen again. We're hesitant about sending you out to some people right now because there is a stigma that you're difficult. We all know what it's like to be told that there is not a place for you to be featured, yet you are young, gifted, and black. We know what it's like to be the tail and not the head. We know what it's like to be beneath and not above. And that is what we went to work with every day because we knew that we had something special that we wanted to give the world, that we could be full human beings in the roles that we were playing, that we, cre we could create a world that exemplified a world that we wanted to see. 
well, Wakanda is not is not you know it's not a real place because it's a fictitious place in Africa, but I think it's become um, you know this this idea of, of of excellence and hope and has become sort of a total to a certain degree that uh, that people are proud of people aspire to. W Wakanda represents a thing that can make people in real life want to live up to a certain thing. There, there are two, um, two little kids, uh, Ian and Taylor, who um, recently passed uh, from cancer. And throughout our filming, I was communicating with them, um, knowing that they were both terminal. And, and what they said to me is, is, and their parents said, they just, they're trying to hold on till this movie comes. Mm. And to a certain degree, it's, it's a humbling experience because I think back now to a kid and just, you know, uh, waiting for Christmas to come, waiting for my birthday to come. Mm. I did live life waiting for those moments. And so it put me back in the mind of being a kid. And when I found out that they, <sighs> yeah, it's, it's, it means a lot. Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined inside of you. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. I don't know what your future is. But if you are willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it.